taking full advantage of gaming in three dimensions, an innovative new Zelda exploded onto the scene in 1998, featuring gorgeous cinematics, hordes of hostile enemies, a revolutionary targeting system, and the freedom of traveling on horseback, Ocarina of Time left all who played it amazed and impressed. Yeah, that's kind of fitting description for this game. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Let's Play Ocarina of Time. Yeah, you just shut up. We're gonna have enough trouble with you already. And I'm gonna use the Rumble feature. Just because I can. Ocarina of Time, wow. I really got a lot of memories with that game. It's my first grand adventure game. It's the first game which I actually underestimated. I thought like, ah, well, I'll just clear this. And that kind of backfired on me as I spent months and months clearing stuff. Especially the goddamn water temple. You're gonna notice that later. Anyways, did I already make a file? No, I didn't make a file here yet, so I'm gonna do that. Can I make it particle? Yes, I probably can. I hope. C L E. Of course that works. He got the words for win. And let's go. Our kind of time is being a lot of let's plays right now, by the way. <clears throat> In the vast deep forest of Hyrule. Long have I served as the guardian spirit. I am known as the Deku Tree. Okay. The children of the forest, the Kokiri, live here with me. Each Kokiri has his or her own guardian fairy. However, there is one boy who does not have a fairy. And that's of course me. Because I don't like fairies, and you're gonna know why in a moment. So, anyways, we enter this sort of dream, and the bridge is falling down with the driver symbol above it, and somebody on horse is approaching while we are standing there with nothing except our clothes on in the rain. That's probably Princess Zelda. And we turn around, we actually have a fairy that's Ganondorf, and he raises his hand. Like, talk to the hand, and Link's like, no, I don't want to talk to the hand, and the dream ends, or something like that. It's probably a nightmare. Navi, Navi, where art thou? Come here. Oh, Navi the fairy, listen to my words, the words of the Deku Tree. Dost thou sense it, the climate of evil descending upon this realm? Malevolent forces, even now, are mustering to attack our land of Hyrule. For so long, the Kokiri Forest, the source of life, has stood as a barrier, deterring outsiders and maintaining the order of the world. But before this tremendous evil power, even my power is as nothing. It seems the time has come for the boy without a fairy to begin his journey. The youth whose destiny it is to lead Hyrule to the path of justice and truth. Navi, go now, find our young friend and guide him to me. I do not have much time left. Fly, Navi, fly! The fate of the forest. Nay, the world depends upon thee. And we're gonna go. We're gonna do a little bit of flying through Navi's perspective. Like a fairy, and we're gonna go to the right. And through his legs. And we're looking around, like, don't you know where I live? Hello. Hello. What's he doing? Hey. Is he humping a rock? Oh, gross. That's, that's disgusting. Damn. And we need to go there. Another proof why Navi fails. Even her navigation is wrong, even though the first four levels of navigation are also Navi. Wow. Irony, Zelda. Irony. And so the fairy approaches in my room without even knocking. Hello, Hello Particle. Wake up. The great decatree wants to talk to you. Get up. No, I'm lazy today. Hey, come on! Can Hyrule Destiny really depend on such a lazy boy? Yes, it can. Okay, fine, I'll get up. To make you happy. So that you stop nagging. Alright, go ahead. You finally woke up. I'm Navi the Fairy. The Great Decker Tree asked me to be your partner from now on. Nice to meet you. No, not nice to meet you. Please get the hell away. The Great Decker Tree has summoned you, so let's get going, right now. 
Alright, so let's get going right now and I already spent 5 minutes on this ridiculous intro. But it doesn't really matter. So we enter Kokiri Forest, our place to be at the moment, because that's where we live. And we got a fairy, and that's big news. So obviously one of our friends, Saraya or Saria, or how you want to call it, approaches. Yahoo, hi particle. Alright, hello. Let's jump. Yeah, I'm gonna do that stylish. Aha. Wow, a fairy! Finally, a fairy came to you, particle. Wow, that's great news. I'm so happy for you. Good. Now you're a true Kukiri particle. Is that right? The great decatry has summoned you? It's quite an honor to talk to the great decatry. I'll wait for you here. Get going. Go see the great decatry. Yeah, before we're gonna do that, we have something else to do. Can I do the side skip trick? It's supposedly a lot quicker, but you need to time it right and have control here. And I like both. So, what I'm gonna do first is get a sword, because... Um... Sort of bully of the town, or at least he has a huge grudge against us. He um, will not let us go see the decoratory unless I'm armed with a weapon. Navi, no, shut up. I'm gonna go through and get five rupees and wait for a rock to appear. Okay. To the right. And there's the first big chest already. Jeez, I wonder what would be in it. Actually, no, I don't because I know. It is the Kokiri Sword on the equipment subscreen selected with the cursor and equipped with A. This is a hidden treasure of the Kokiri, but you can borrow it for a while. Be sure to practice with it before you really fight. Well, I'm not gonna borrow it for a while, I'm gonna borrow it for eternity. So, let's save. Oh, that takes a while, I forgot. Let's save as minimally as possible. Do not touch the memory guard, I know. Thank you. Now I got myself a sword. And the main reason why I got the sword immediately is because I need a shield as well. And because I got the sword, I can slash bushes and get rubies out of it. If I'm lucky, because this one didn't give me shit. But oh well. Zelda can be greedy sometimes. So let's crawl back into this hole. And it's time to do a little bit of rupee collecting here. Like this. That's better. I need a total of 40, I'm not gonna do the chest if I can get them all here, yeah. That's the signpost, I don't read them anyways. Um, let's see, there is... In these bushes... Or rupees, but I think I already collected those. So, in here... One... Well, one is worth it, I guess. And there are five behind this, and... I can get another 5 by over jumping here, like 1 and 2, that's another 5. I don't think it works 5 first, I know it doesn't. So I need 13 more. They're probably in bushes like these or something. And there is some sort of treasure chest room which also contains rupees, so... Yeah, I don't know what he's doing, but I don't really even, really even want to know. So what's he say? House of Twins, well actually there are 5 rupees in there. But in this case you gotta... no, that's not really what you gotta do. Just pick these up and throw them, and they contain rupees. And he's probably like, dude, why are you breaking our jars? But we'll just exit without saying a word. So I need seven more. And all the bushes have respawned, so if you're a little bit lucky you can get even more. So technically this shouldn't be too difficult at all. Hmm, let's see if the jump works again, that would be nice. Else I just have to collect them through a chest. There are chests in this town, no worries. So I'm gonna jump over here, do it again. Yes, and that's enough. Yeah, look look this way, look over here with on top with A. No, I'm not gonna do that. It explains me how to set uh, target in this case. So we're gonna buy ourselves the Deco Shield. Switch to the equipment subscreen and select the shield. Press A to equip it. Yeah, now we get the explanation of the shield. I'm looking for a way to skip this. I don't want to buy something else. So let's equip this immediately. And nah, I don't need to save. So now I not only got a sword, but I also got a shield. Which means I'm done. Time to visit and see the decker tree. Let's go over here, over here. Yeah, and you can just. If you want to see the great decker tree, you should at least equip a sword and shield. Uh, what's that? Oh, you have a deco shield. And what's that? Is that the Kogiri sword? Good grief. 
Well, even with all that stuff, a wimp is still a wimp, huh? I, the great Mido, will never accept you as one of us. Shoot! How did you get to be the favorite of Saria and the great Decker Tree, huh? Yeah, never mind. No wine. I got selected, not you. I'm, I'm the one who actually has to save the world. Now, these things can be slashed. And they will drop Deco Sticks, which I need in the next dungeon. Ow. Which is actually the interior of the Great Deco Tree. So, before I'm gonna go, I'm gonna apply these. And... Here we are. Great Deco Tree. I'm back. And that is the largest tree I've seen in the video game so far, I think. The, actually, the living one. The Great Deco Tree. Oh, Navi, the last returned. Particle, welcome. Listen carefully to what I, the Deco Tree, am about to tell thee. Thy slumber these past moons must have been restless and full of nightmares. True. As the servants of evil gain strength, a vile climate pervades thee land and causes nightmares to those sensitive to it. Verily, those felt it. Particle, the time has come to test thy courage. I have been cursed. I need you to break the curse with your wisdom and courage. Dost thou have courage enough to undertake this task? I'm not sure, but I'm gonna do it. I will be the hero. Then enter brave particle and thou to Navi. Navi the fairy, thou must aid particle. And particle, when Navi speaks, use up C to listen well to a words of wisdom. I'm gonna try to avoid that as much as I can because I think Navi's the only reason why a queen of time has downsides. She's freaking annoying. I'm not even kidding. So let's enter inside the deco tree. And yeah, I didn't really expect this ins well actually I did expect this insider tree. I must agree. But anyways. So these drop other items which you could use. I barely use those, but those are the deco nuts. And if I get it correctly I can do it with this. Yes. Now I'm gonna kill these ones as well. And let's see, if you actually, is this one, if you want the deck with stick, wait till it's on the floor, slash it then, you'll get a stick, instead of a nut, it's depending on what you really like. So, ah, come on, let's climb up. Uh, hmm, let's go over here. There are a few things though in this dungeon which need to be collected, and I'll be pretty sure to announce those in the next part of the episode. Look at this wall, the vines growing on like a rough surface. Maybe you can climb it. Take a look. I don't think that's a really wise decision right now, to climb. So let's just open this chest. Yeah, I know, it is not even close to climbing vines, opening a chest. But anyways, we get the dungeon map, and every time you get the dungeon map, you can explore the dungeon and see what floors there are. So that's pretty okay. Now, there's only one way to go. You can open a door by standing in front of it and pressing A. Pay attention to what the action icon says. That's the green icon at the top of the screen. Okay. But I actually knew that already, so why are you even saying this? Now, this one, just repel the nut to it and make sure you reach it in time. Else it will just flee for you. Forgive me, Master. If I give you a clue, will you let me go? Will well, you jump off a high cliff? If you hold the... Uh, Analog stick forward, you will roll on the ground where you land and won't get hurt from the fall. I can't guarantee it will work though, if the clip is really, really high. <laughs> well, try it if you're feeling bold. <laughs> okay. Well, actually, I know this trick. I have played through Ocarina of Time at least 10 times, I think. So, this is not that difficult. Okay, I'm gonna go here. And for your information, this is also 100% run, just like Zelda Master started yesterday, and I. I think many others are doing it already. So I'm just gonna tag along. I found this flame shot and I'm gonna do this 100%. So yeah, we can take it out and fire. You can aim, yeah, to unleash a deco seed. Come on, I know. If you want to shoot right away, you see, hold on, see a little longer to get a seed ready. Okay, so I'm gonna call it a quits for this episode of Ocarina of Time. In the next episode, I'm gonna further explore the Deco Tree and see how far I can get to the final boss of this dungeon. So, I thank you all for watching. Make sure to like, comment, check Zelda's run, Zelda Zelda Master 2000, jeez, blah, blah, blah. Zelda Master 2010's run as well, and I'll see you guys soon. Take care, y'all.
and thanks for watching.